I'm just going to go on. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know. All right. We're going to be doing one of these wreaths today. And what you, I usually use a big crochet needle, but I found out it works better with my fingers. So I'm going to show you how we, how we do this. You first start out with a slip knot. Okay, and then you're going to go around and take your finger and pull it through and tighten. Then you're going to go under and catch it under and pull it up. Yeah, well, that's what I kept doing. I even shut the internet down because it wasn't working right. So... Thanks, Esther. So I don't know what was going on. Anyhow, I am so happy you're all here. Let's see if we can get this going. Why am I not getting this to pull tight for me now? There we go. All right, so you're going to go over and under and over and under. Each time, we're going to try and get this to the top. A little bit harder on the formed wreath bases as opposed to the Dollar Tree ones. You want to tighten it each time and then go back under. And you're basically just keeping your fingers in this open open hole and pulling it back through. Look at that. I had so many people on. Now I just lost everybody. They gave up on me. Oh, there's Kayla. She came back. Alright. So again, over. Pull it through. Go back to here. Pull another loop through. So see you get this kind of decorative chain going here when it works. You just got to keep tightening it to get your chain tighter. You want to keep your loops snug. So you end up with your your decorative chain on top and keep pushing over. Like I said, you can use a, a crochet hook, but I found it easier to use my fingers. Hello again, Peggy. Thanks for coming back and spreading the love for me. We're just going over and under and catching the loop each time and then smushing it together pulling it taut this one was already painted green so I figured this was probably a good one to use with this again I'm just making sure that I keep tightening my loop as I go along because we want the design to show up on top. Now these are made with pom-poms. You can use balls. Um, you can use anything to decorate these. My plan is to use one of the barns and add a tree to the side. And then we're going to do a bow. The other alternative would be to add a bunch of balls or pom-poms on here. So I'm going to start with the uh, with the barn first. But these are easy to do. I don't know if you can get this yarn anywhere anymore. Um, this was one that I used to buy at Michael's every year. I know, right? And I I got this beautiful ribbon in. 
I ordered extra in case anybody wanted extra. So that's going to look really pretty with it. So you, do you ever have a day where you just feel like you're totally all thumbs and everything that can go wrong is going wrong? Well, that was yesterday, and it's falling into today. The barns were actually um, Dollar General, and they were three for three dollars. In fact, if you go into the post, the live from the other day, I think it was from last week, Peggy. I showed a bunch of stuff I got at Dollar General. They now have this um, manger there. And see, this manger would even look cute on this wreath, too. They have a lot of cute stuff out this year. Um, bells, nutcrackers, I bought a church. I have a lot of this extra, too, yarn if anybody is looking for any because I, I bought up what I could find when they were closing out and then um, my friend Dawn even picked up extra for me so I'm I've got a lot but see how nice that covers it's kind of like rolled And I have to show you, this was what Missy asked me to make. I'm not done with him yet, but this is my snowman. She had a request for an LBGT uh, wreath, and she needed a snowman, and the snowman, she wanted those colors on his hat and his scarf. Hi, Jean, or Joan, sorry. So I actually had to print the fabric myself because couldn't find the colors anywhere. So I have left his eyes to do and his arms. And he's going to be a wreath attachment. So when she goes on and, and does the wreath, I will be sure to pass it on. But isn't he cute? Look at that nose. Can you see his nose? So he's almost finished. All right, so we went over, now we're going under, it's just back and forth, and pull and tighten as you go along. I'm getting my ahead of myself here, so I'm going to pull some of this back down and straighten some of it out. It's bulky, and because you're using your hands, you really have to work with it. So you have to find where your where your loose one is and pull it through all the way. But see how nice that covers. And they really don't take too long to make. And I think one of these will actually do almost two. I know it's pretty. I have it in purple, I have it in green, I have it in this um, blue. It's kind of like an aqua. Like I said, I bought up what we could before they shut their doors for good. And I know it's not carried by Michaels, so I think it's kind of hard to get. You can use other bulky yarn for this. It doesn't have to be this. I just prefer this. Um, this was S Supreme by Nicole. And like I said, they sold it at AC Moore. But it just looks so cute when it's done. These are nice if you're going to put like pom poms and stuff on them to use the Dollar Tree frame. If you want to put something in there and make a little scene, it's better to um, use this kind of styrofoam frame that you can actually stick it into. So we started out with a slip knot, so we're just going under and coming back up. Under and coming back up. So you're 
grabbing it from one end and then you're getting it at the other end. Inner and then outer. It's just there's a lot of adjusting. And I, I have a huge needle that I was using, a huge crochet needle, but it's really hard to do on these wreaths. So I just figured I'd use my fingers so you can see how it's done with fingers. And then push it down, straighten it out. Like I said, you can follow your weave to make it tighter in spots. Sometimes you gotta undo a little to... Once you get going, you'll get the hang of it. I'm just trying to put the decoration on the front part of the wreath, the weave part anyhow. Again, you're just grabbing it and pulling. Now I got my loop too big, so I want to pull it back some. So we go under and pull it back up and grab it here and take it back down and then grab it at the bottom and pull it back up. Go ahead and straighten it out again. Probably would have been easier if I would have, this would have been painted gray. You wouldn't see any of this, the underside. But that's what I had, so that's what I used. They just look so pretty when they're done. And I thought, you know, wouldn't my sign, my sweater weather, be, be real cute in this, too? Because it almost looks like a sweater. Before I'm done, I have a haul to show you. I went to my favorite store today. And I spent $3.48. I got some stuff for projects coming up like you wouldn't believe. Just tightening it up as we go. So we went over, now we go under. And we all we started out with a slip a slip knot. I know, at my favorite store. See? Then we pull this up, then we pull that down, then we pull this down. Just to keep getting it tight. To get our loop back up to the top and straighten it out. Pull under and pull up. See, and we're over halfway done already. <coughs> <clears throat> I really want to do a purple one. I have the purple yarn. No, wait a minute. Okay. I needed to go under. Come on. Probably would have worked better with the needle on this one. Like I said, I wanted you to see you can do it without a needle. And I'm sure you could wrap it too if you didn't want to go to the trouble of showing this. Yes. Just like crocheting actually. Pull back on this one. 
We straighten this one. We pull back up here. Pull back here. Pull back here. Push down. This is one I showed the group I ha I was in last year, and everybody wanted to see it again. So here, pull back and under. I hope you guys can see okay. Let me uh, pull it in a little see if that helps for you. Yes, and it really does look pretty when it's all done. I'll push it down a little again. And like I said, if you didn't want to do this, you could even just wrap it. You don't have to do it this way. But if you get used to pulling it as you're going along, you can keep that kind of taut. Yeah, I could, I just don't have the base, I have the Dollar Tree ones, but I don't have these anymore, the Styrofoam ones, but anybody could get one at any craft store, I could definitely sell the yarn. Just start out with a slip knot, slip knot. I even made one of these last year and just used this as the bow. Don't quite have enough to do a second one, but you could make a smaller one. Because it doesn't quite use a whole skein but like I said you could just got to get in the habit of pulling it to make it taut I'm sure a lot of people are going to be looking for this yarn this year because they made it from this yarn last year. And like I said, you can't find it online because Michael's or AC Moore is no longer. Just pushing as we go along. Patting it in place. Come on. Got a stubborn one here. Doesn't want to pull back. There we go. We only have two more to do. Now 
now I'm going to kind of push where we started in the beginning and we're going to kind of push that to the back and then I'm going to take this around clip it and make sure we're good first now we can we can go one more just a matter of keep pushing it down and then pulling this like this so that your 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 de decoration here kind of stays in place so we got one more i think diana it's a styrofoam um base wreath base you can actually um go back to when we're done you can actually go back through my videos and on the video it'll show you it's a floral wreath base that's made of styrofoam just trying to pull this back you can use a dollar tree wreath frame too if you use a dollar tree one you'll only need about a half one of these if you use this, you're definitely going to use more. It just goes along with the size of your base. This is kind of flat on four sides, so that's why this one used more. I'm just trying to figure out where my, there it is, so I can pull it tight. There we go. And we'll do one more here. The yarn came from Michael's, or AC Moore, which they don't carry anymore because they're closed. But I do have quite a stockpile. The frame actually, I think, came from Sims uh, Pottery. I'm just going to take this around. I'm going to tuck this under. I'm going to tie it to this and then bury it underneath. That's the nice thing about this. You can pull it back through and you don't even know it's there. I'm making a knot on the underside and then I'm just going to push it back through here make it disappear there there we go now probably what's going to happen is I may end up putting my bow here or I'll put my bow at the top why is that not there we go got to knot it again Tuck it down in there. So, my plan was to take one of these from Big Lots. Oop, and mount that on the inside here. Now, See how we can do this and then put a little tree kind of next to it trying to make it look like farmhouse or this was one of my hauls today from my favorite place check out these Christmas balls aren't they cute and what I've seen them do in the past, too, is I've seen them decorate the whole bottom with either balls or pom-poms and then put a bow at the top. So I'm just giving you some ideas of what you can do with this. You 
could build up the bottom like we did on the uh, manger one that, that we did the other night. It just looks so pretty when they're like all in here together. I just found these balls very decorative. There's that you could do to it. But let's see how we can get our... Let's go ahead and make our bow. That way we'll see where we're going to put this and how big we're going. Yeah, this is just a white floral wreath base that I actually had painted green because I was going to do a boxwood wreath. All right, so we've got some directional ribbon going on here. So let's fix this so we have it going in the right direction. Or even what you could do, and let me think where I have them. We could actually just put white snowflakes around this because our ribbon has the snowflakes on it. So we could actually put this in here and then just do white snowflakes all around. I'm trying to think where I have my white snowflakes. I'm doing the, the tail here because I'm trying to get that in the correct direction, which it is. They look beautiful no matter what you do to them. They really are a pretty simple wreath. But if you look up yarn wreath online, you'll see all the different things you can do with it. I'm going to go, I think, with four loops on the gray. I'm doing it this way so I get my, my barn all in the right direction. Let me open it up. I know, would they be all around here? I know I have some. It's just a matter of what basket are they in. <laughs> or, oh, I did find them, wait a minute. Yes, found them. Or you could even do a red truck with this too. But I have all kinds of little miniature snowflakes. So that's what we'll do. We'll put snowflakes on there because it matches the ribbon. Now because this isn't really that big a wreath, I'm actually going to go with these two next, and these are the one and a half inch. I'm using the Bodabra, and I'm doing four, four loops of each one. And I'm making them about the same size. the loops. You can go back through, Diana, you can go back through the video when I'm done. You can go to videos on my Facebook page and actually play it from the beginning. This wreath base is styrofoam and it's flat on all sides, all four sides. You'll be able to see the beginning shape of it. Okay? I can't, 
I can't really show it to you because it's all covered, but it's all flat. It's just a styrofoam wreath base. These are Dollar Tree ones. You can use these too if you're only placing something on the top of the wreath. I want to place something in the middle here, so I wanted something flat. So that's how you'll be able to see. Just go back to my videos. And then I'm going to put this gray on here too. Because I kind of want it to look farmhouse. Now to end it, I think I'm just going to do three loops. Two. And then a small one in the middle. As my middle one like that you could even add some bells around it some white bells red bells you could even put maybe a red bell inside let's do that Okay, you all saw my red bells that I bought at Dollar General the other day, six for a dollar. So let's stick one of these red bells in the middle of the bow. That will look very pretty. And look at that. It actually slips right onto the zip tie. So actually, you may be able to use that to cover the zip tie instead of having to tie some ribbon on there like you know I always do. But I will need a little bit of I'll need a little bit of this to tie it to the wreath base. My tinsel tie. You know me. Does that answer your question, Diana? You'll probably have to go back through a couple because we had to start and stop several times because the internet was kicking me off. So you'll have to search a couple of times to find this one, but you'll be able to see a picture. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this here, and depending on where it ends up, how it looks, I may have to put my barn at the bottom. And you know what? I may have to cover this up with some of the yarn. Yep, I'm gonna have to cover up my tinsel tie with the yarn. So my tinsel tie is not gray, it's tan. So it shows. That's the good thing about this. You can just make it disappear with another piece to the back. I don't know where everybody is from, but they're calling for snow here this Thursday into Friday. So, we could get hit with some of the white stuff. I hope we don't, but if we do, I got plenty I can do. I don't have to go anywhere. Now, 
I could shorten these tails some. And you could actually just leave the ribbon. You don't have to put anything. And what I've seen people do that's really pretty also is they hang Christmas balls from the inside, like different, different lengths. Don't think we need that that long. So let's just trim that. Come on, there we go. And maybe what I'll do with these is we are going to curl these. Good idea, Jean. Thank you very much. I don't want Diana to miss out. Thank you. Look at that. Jean's on the ball. She'll show you. And then I think I'm going to twirl this one too. figure out how we're going to mount this. Let's let that warm up a little bit. Then let's see, we'll place a few of the snowflakes around. We could actually hang one from our bell too. From the middle of the bell. Look at that, every which way I'm trying to hang it doesn't work. <laughs> Just gonna glue it now. This is gonna look cute. I'm gonna put four on the wreath base and one hanging from the middle. So then I have my odd number. So there it is so far. Doesn't that look pretty? going to cut these off. Actually cutting the hole off so I can just glue it right on there. It's very lightweight, so the hot glue is going to stick right to the wreath. And see, this doesn't really scream Christmas, so this could actually get left up for the holiday season into winter. That's what I like, multi-purpose wreaths. May even be able to get one or two down here. Ooh, I'm loving it so far. You loving it so far? Can y'all see it? Some of my roofing is coming apart, needs to be re-glued. So you might want to check that out if you buy these from Dollar General. I know I have some small wreaths too. I may just replace that wreath. It's looking a little cheesy. And you 
know what's coming in? Let me see. Something like this, I would probably charge around 65 for. Because you got a lot of money in your yarn, in your time. Um, so yeah, probably around 64 now. I'm just trying to see. They have like a hole back here. Maybe. Let's see if this works. I'm going to glue some of this to the back and use this to tie it to the base. Let's see if that'll work. Because see, I can use it to, I can use the yarn to disappear on the wreath. So, except I kind of want it in here. So, okay. I'm going to take it apart and let me see. Just trying to find a place where I can let me get some wire. That may be my best bet. Okay, don't have any wire there. I have this here. So I think we're going to be able to get this to disappear into the wreath base. So, I think we can. Yep. I'm tearing it all apart. <laughs> so I can fix this in here like this. What I'm going to do is straddle the wood there. If all else fails, I have another plan. see. I kind of want it to straddle over, but I know. All right. I'm going to glue this back. I got a better way. I know if I took it apart and thought about it a little bit, we would be able to come up with a plan. Sometimes I just need to see the construction of something. So, there is my, there it is. I'm gonna use one of these skewers, all right? I'm gonna attach the skewer to the back of this, secure it to the wood, and then have it go down in the styrofoam. We got it! We figured it out! Now I need to find my cutters. Alright, we're just going to trim. Chunky! Hey, miss! I was showing him your snowman. Alright, I'm going to glue these back because... Now I know how I'm going to attach it. So we're going to put those back in place. We were trying to figure out how we're going to attach this 
barn to the wreath base. So I was taking it apart, trying to come up with different ideas. So we're actually going to put a skewer. Sorry, I'm banging that, aren't I? I'm going to put a skewer on the back of it and push it down in the wreath. So let's go ahead and glue our snowflake to the top of the bow here. There we go. Let's glue our snowflakes down. Oh, I love this. Do you guys love this? I'm loving it. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Missy, are you getting snow tomorrow? We're supposed to get snow tomorrow. Yes, Jean, you could do that too. But I want to drive this down into, okay, the styrofoam. So that's why I'm using this. But yes, you could so use a craft stick. So use it. Just by separating your, your, your yarn there. Okay. Now let's put a little spot of glue down in there. Hold it in place. So here we go. And I got everything sticking all over here. All right. And then we're going to put it right here. And we're going to glue it to our skewer. And I'm only like 20 away from 3,000 followers on Facebook here. So keep watching. And I'm going to put the contest on here in the next couple of days. And when we hit 3,000, we're going to draw a winner. And that winner is going to get to pick out five, five free signs. Right? See, to look at that. And all I have to do is just adjust my bow a little. But we want the farm to look really cute. So we want to get this, this pine tree in here. That's kind of cool because it kind of, the base can bend. So we can put the base on an angle and attach it right to the wreath base. And then straighten it out. Oh, I'm loving it. I don't know. I'm thinking we need some more snowflakes on here. Maybe a couple in the front. Okay, do I need another... I need another package. And look, you could have even, if you wanted, didn't have to use a barn. You could go red truck on this too, right? Okay, let's... And guess what I got coming? I got ornaments coming and earrings. I'm going to be able to print us some earrings. You know what? No. That needs a little piece of greenery in the front there. So, Think a little piece of greenery. I'm not liking that. So there we go. Let me see what we got here. I 
needs something here. I don't think it needs snowflakes, so I'm going to have to look around a little bit. Although, I don't know. I'm having one of those decorating moments. Maybe just some red. I'll try this. Let me see. Nope. It needs something right there, like this, but with red. So I'll look for some red. Because that, you could even put the red truck there if you wanted. Make it look like 3D. Okay, miss. You see what I'm saying? We'll play with it. We're not done with it. I think that kind of looks cute with the truck there. Maybe it needs a horse. <laughs> or the camel. The camel from the uh, manger scene we could put there. And you could use a manger on this. All right. What do you think? I'd like that wreath as a gift, wouldn't you? I actually have a sign that's going with this one, so I'll get that made up. Right? I think that kind of looks cute. Kind of looks 3D, doesn't it? I'm kind of into like the, what do they call it? Monochromatic, like, you know, same colored scheme. Just adding pops of other colors. Like, I'm liking the gray. I, you know, or, oh, Diana likes the truck. Or you could even do a cheater bow, put a small cheater bow down there, too. Like, I'm just giving you different options, okay? Just so... If you make your own, you have ideas. The table always ends up a mess, doesn't it? Yeah, I kind of like the red truck. There we go. All right, who wants to quickly see what I picked up today? All right, now keep in mind, I only spent $3.48, okay? <laughs> and because we've been working on those ball wreaths, I needed different size balls. So these balls were smaller. And check these out. These are these are vintage ones. These are the old balls. So I found some of those. Again, real pretty colors, smaller in size. Okay. So I got four boxes of balls. Then Check this out, and I was going to do this, so now I can show everybody how to do it. They actually took the cuff of a sweater and covered the cup with the sweater. Now, would this look cute, okay, in my um, marshmallow wreath, the one with the marshmallow sign? So we're gonna we're gonna play with that, do something different with that. I thought this was kind of cute because if I don't like this as the cup, I'm going to make a cup out of this tin. Plus, I found a little angel. I thought she was real pretty. Then, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, but you know how much I love unique things? Check out this old 
glass ball. And I mean, this sucker is heavy. You don't see a top on these anymore like that. Look at the, look at the colors in that. Isn't that beautiful? I, there was only one and I'm like, I have to get it because I've never seen one like it before. It has this metal cap on it. So I found that. <coughs> you know how I like stars. And this would be cute, like in something like this, if it was silver hanging down from the top in the bow. But this is the star for the angel or for the manger wreath. Can you see that? And then I found these little balls that have holly painted on them. And check out this basket. Isn't this going to make a cute arrangement? Basket's brand new. 49 cents. And then I found some more styrofoam balls. I can always use styrofoam balls. This was 99 cents, half off, and then 20% off of that because it's Senior Citizen Day. <laughs> I'm considered a senior citizen. So then, check out the chicken I found. You know me and decorating with chickens. He's a wooden chicken. Is that not the cutest? So that'll look cute. I mainly bought these as patterns. And there's a Santa. And I found some gingerbread stuff because I'm going to be doing a gingerbread wreath soon. So I found gingerbread. And this is kind of cute. It's all the glitter. So I've got that. And I got one more bag. And you're going to look at this and you're going to say, what was she thinking? But I could not not get it. Okay. It's just a white crock with a meshed, mashed up arrangement. And these are those hard um, pearls. So, of course, when they get wet, they're not going to separate because they're not styrofoam. This thing looks a mess. It was 99 cents. Now, you take this. You put a fancy ribbon around it. You take out all this and you totally redecorate it. This is what we're going to do. Probably, if I can fit it in tomorrow, we're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to take this apart and redo it. So 99 cents, we're going to make something really fancy out of this. Or you could even add your, um, you know, the, the red checked ribbon to this. I know. Are they not great finds? I mean, look, this, this is... I mean, what, what is this? I mean, really, it serves no purpose. But I can take this all out and make something entirely... It, I mean, it even has the styrofoam in it. The styrofoam alone is like $2 in the store. All these picks, we are, we are going to make this thing pop. And it looks like a country crock, so... I know what you meant, Jean. <laughs> Look, we could even we could even do this over with our white bells and beads. Okay, Diana, we have an American Rescue store locally, okay? And I go in there on Wednesdays because Wednesdays are senior citizen day, so you get 20% off. 
And then everything with a green tag today was 50% off. Plus, if you spend X amount of dollars, they keep track of it. And once you have spent over $100, you get $10 off on your next purchase. So my total came to $13.48. They deducted the, the uh, $10. So I spent $3.48 for all this. And she had these, and these are gorgeous for 49 cents. And I thought, you know, they would be nice at the top of like an arrangement. We could add a pick to this. We could do anything with this. And these were 49 cents. And there were a few that were broken, so she just gave them to me. But I can fix them. All the parts are there. In fact, it's that kind that you stick in the oven and it kind of melts together. So I should be able to fix them. So she even gave those to me. <laughs> so I made out okay. Really okay today. I've gotten so much stuff from there. You, you, you wouldn't believe what I've found there. And they have a lot of wreaths. And right now the wreaths are so expensive. So if I wait until Saturday, everything's 50% off. I know. And I mean, even if you just fluffed this out and added more silver to it, I could sell it way more than 99 cents. Actually, I probably only got it for like 49 cents. <laughs> I kept looking at the thing. I'm like, uh, is that price right? You know, I even watched her when she rang it up to make sure. But yeah, all these, all these picks, there's several of them in here. I mean, this would be so cute. Redone and make it look country. You could even take that big gingerbread man and you could stick him in the middle here and do all kinds of stuff to this. I live in Pennsylvania and in our area, we probably have four American rescue workers. In each town, they have one. Um, I'm told over in Sunbury, there's one over there that's so huge. And I, I mean, I look things over really good and I have a spray that I spray everything down with. Oh man, look at this. If we added reds in there and we put a nice big red bow on here, oh. This is going to be gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, so that's my that's my day to just go and spend an hour there and be left alone. It's quiet, no dogs barking, phones not ringing, nothing. And I have found so much stuff there. Um, could even use one of these. I've bought these here, there too. But look, you could even take one of these and have it hanging out of this too. See what I mean? This was, these were like 59 cents for two of them. And then this big tablecloth, not a stain on it. Of course, I wash everything and I spray everything down with, uh, with Norwich stuff. Yes. I'm, I'm just going to totally take it apart and we're going to redo it. And if I have time, I'm going to jump on tomorrow at, at 2. But that was my haul for today. $3.48 I spent. And all that money goes back on the account too towards the next $100 for the next hundred dollars, you know, ten dollars off. Um, we're probably about, I'm sure if you went into Pennsylvania, Diana, you could find one. There's probably one near Harrisburg. They're, they're everywhere in Pennsylvania. It's kind of like a Goodwill, you know, it's a thrift store. People donate stuff there. I got this
I got this angel there last year. Is she not going to be cute on a wreath? She was only 99 cents. I think she's so adorable. So yeah, you just need to look and take your time and inspect everything. So, <coughs> yes, it was a great day. All right, I got to run. I have to go pick up my son and my grandson. Um, so there we go. I've got kind of like a 3D effect going on here. All right, I thank you all for coming back. I thank you all for sharing, spreading the love. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Just, if you didn't see the whole thing, go back to the replay. Okay? And hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow. Yes, she is. Thank you, Jean. All right, have a great evening. Thank you.